I'm Mike Walsh, CEO of Esprit Gas. At Esprit Gas, we like to make what's complex for you very simple. Our products, industrial and medical gases, and the equipment and services that are related to them are used in all kinds of applications. This training is designed to teach you about the products we sell and the processes related to them. I want to thank you for taking the time to learn because above all else, our number one goal is delivering a world-class customer experience for you. Thank you. Hello, and thank you for taking the time to view this safety presentation. Today, we are going to discuss the proper way to connect and disconnect cylinders on a manifold system. When it is time to replace a bank of cylinders, the manifold will issue an alarm. To begin, silence the alarm by using the button on the manifold. Then, look at the manifold to determine which bank of cylinders is empty and needs to be replaced. While looking at the manifold, you will see a series of three gauges. The left and right gauges correspond to the left and right cylinder banks, respectively. The middle gauge refers to the pressure of the gas that is exiting the system and being pushed through the gas lines for use. The gauge displaying a pressure of zero, meaning the dial is pointing all the way to the left, is the empty bank of cylinders that needs to be replaced. To switch supply from the empty bank of cylinders to the full bank of cylinders, slide the knob sideways so that it is pointing towards the full bank. Now the gas flowing through the lines is being transferred from the right bank of full cylinders. In this example, we will be connecting and disconnecting cylinders on a manifold system with only one bank of cylinders. To replace the empty bank of cylinders, we recommend wearing safety glasses and protective gloves as a safety precaution while working with high-pressure cylinders. If your manifold system includes a valve on the gas line itself, start by turning the knob clockwise to stop the flow of gas to the outlet. Next, turn off all the valves to the empty cylinders by turning the top knob on each cylinder clockwise. Once complete, you are ready to disconnect the gas line from each cylinder. To disconnect the gas line, we recommend using an adjustable wrench. Using the adjustable wrench, loosen the connection between the gas line and the cylinder, as shown here. Once all the gas lines are loose, continue the removal of gas lines from the cylinders by unscrewing the line at each connection by hand until they are fully removed from the cylinders. If a line is stuck, utilize the adjustable wrench to unscrew the line past the point at which it is stuck. Never use petroleum-based lubricants like Vaseline to loosen a gas line. Now that the gas lines have been disconnected from each cylinder, it is time to relocate the empty cylinders to a designated storage area to await pickup from the supplier. The proper way to relocate cylinders is through the use of a cylinder dolly. Use of a dolly reduces risk of injury to personnel and is the recommended method by which to transport cylinders. We understand that at times this method may not be practical and that personnel may resort to gently rolling each cylinder to its new location. If you choose to forego the use of a dolly, be sure to hold each cylinder at the base of its neck as you gently spin the cylinder on its base to remove it from the manifold area. Be careful not to hold on to the tank at the top of the cylinder at the valve stem as these stems can break off. Turning our attention to the replacement full cylinders, you may see that each full cylinder has a cap in place to protect its stem. Remove the cap from each of the replacement cylinders by rotating the cap counterclockwise to unscrew the cap and remove it from the cylinder neck. If a cap is stuck, use your adjustable wrench and insert the adjustable portion of the wrench into the hole located in the center of the cap. This should orient the wrench perpendicular to the cylinder cap with the handle of the wrench sticking outward. Gently push the base of the wrench away from you. The leverage this provides will loosen the cap past its sticking point for easy removal. Once removed, attach the removed caps to the empty cylinders that we previously removed from the manifold. Using the same technique that you used previously to remove the empty cylinders from the manifold area, Move the replacement cylinders into place for the manifold system. As you are positioning each cylinder, keep in mind that it is helpful to ensure that the valves on each cylinder are all facing the same direction. 
This speeds up the process of reconnecting the gas lines to the cylinders and helps prevent the lines from being tangled. Once in place, reattach any fastenings to secure the cylinders in their place and prevent them from falling over. Now we are ready to start reattaching each cylinder to their corresponding gas line by hand as shown here. Finish by using your adjustable wrench to gently tighten the lines in place. Lastly, open the valves on each tank slowly to begin gas flow. You can do this by slowly turning the knob at the top of the cylinder counterclockwise. As you are turning the knob, you should hear a whooshing sound as air exits the cylinder. This noise should disappear and become silent within a few seconds. If a whistling noise remains, turn off the valve, use your adjustable wrench to tighten your connection, and repeat until whistling silences. Repeat this step with each cylinder in the bank. Please note that some manifold systems may also have a main valve that allows the gas to flow from the cylinder bank through the lines to their outlets. Ensure this valve is also open to the degree that it provides the correct amount of pressure for how the gas is being used. This concludes our training. If you have any questions about the material covered in this video, please do not hesitate to contact us.